This stupid watermelon game has taken over the entire world, and after my first time playing it... Yeah, I get it. Suica game is essentially a masochist Tetris, but there's an inherent goal, like 2048, where you try to achieve the watermelon without building too high. Yes, this game tracks your score, but it should never really be a competitive event. So it became a competitive event. 16 streamers, including me, signed up for a Suica tournament, and we were all immediately placed against some other addict. All you had to do to win was score higher than the person you were up against, and then you could move on in hopes of reaching the grand finals. I started my tournament run without any warm-up, but this was my opponent's second game ever, so I really didn't have anything to be scared of. Yeah, let's just see where we left off. Oh, really? Oh, oh, oops, I forgot. The last game I played, I had a watermelon in. That's so embarrassing. I oh, yeah, I already started mine. Oh, nice. A little... How you doing? What's your score? Uh, 218. Wow, mine's zero. But wow. I've got some good fruits on the board. Yeah, starting a little messy, if I can be honest, but I think I can clean it up. All right. How confident do you feel in this in this tournament? Uh, I, I mean, if I have the third highest peak and I personally feel very consistent, mm -hmm. uh, I feel good. I, I personally do think I'm very consistent at this game. You really are. I've watched you get watermelon many times. I like how they get to choose what you like. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, sometimes you just get seven cherries in a row and then you say, that, that, sure, that's what I wanted. I, I think just the pressure of tournament <gasps> is, is terrifying in a game like this because... I can have an incredible game, but if a piece just flies in the, the stratosphere, what am I supposed to do, you know? Yeah. Sometimes shit just falls into place, you know? It It's like life, really, if you think about it. It truly is. This game is just like life. Yeah, I think if uh, Don, uh, Mr. Dadas Hack, is just playing this game for the first time, I, I think that puts me in a pretty cozy first game. Cherries are little bitches. Yeah, but sometimes they, they do make miracles, you know? They're great for, like, pushing big fruit. Oh, this is a little risky. Oh, we'll no. go for it. Oh, no. Oh, maybe? Is it a maybe? Oh. We're oh. already at the maybes? No. I don't know where I should put this. Hmm. Okay, so... Oh, that was worse. If only those could have touched. Uh... I, 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 God, why did I greet it? Why, why did I greet it? I, I had so much room. So, uh, new idea. Let's not go cold into a tournament next time, yeah? But before I talk about who won, let me talk about today's sponsor, Arup. A completely new and unique hydration experience. Have you been trying to drink more water, but need a little more motivation to drink more water? Well, Arup solves that by harnessing the power of scent-based taste. These bottles use scented pods that, when activated by the bottle straw, transport water and air through the pod and into your mouth. And that's that's where the science behind Arup's scent-based taste kicks in. It's essentially smelling with your mouth. Since it's the perfect time for gift giving, Arup has put together limited edition bundles specifically for the holidays. You can get huge savings on these bundles all throughout the holiday season, up to 40% off for a limited time on all orders. Arup's biggest sale ever. Arup bottles come in stainless steel, which I have right here, but if you're looking to give a bit more color with your gift, there's also the Triton bottle, which is available in a bunch of other fun colors. There's plenty of flavors to choose from too, from mango passion fruit to iced tea peach, and my personal favorite, cherry. So no matter who you're shopping for, you'll always be able to find a flavor they love. So ask yourself, who in your life could use the gift of taste this holiday season? I know I've done a few other Arab sponsors, but be sure to check out the link in the description this time and make sure you don't miss out on Arab's biggest sale ever. And thank you again to Arab for sponsoring this video. I thought I lost by greeting that one apple, but sometimes God has favorites. So next up was another round for me to warm up on, but the person I was up against barely broke a thousand before busting and playing a fashion dress-up sim. Also, uh, how do you feel if I play some other other fucking music. So I took the free win and moved on to my hardest match yet. Wait, so if I win this, do we have to do a tiebreaker? I, I think it's head to head. One of my least favorite parts about this game, it happens to me all the time, is just when it flicks from one side of the screen to the other. Yep. I got fucked over by that earlier. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Yeah, I, I already have bad luck. See, I was telling everyone that it was like, if you play bad today, that's so fine because you just have to play better than your opponent. Yep. Oh, we might be back. Oh, I wouldn't say we're back because we never left personally. Okay. It oh, doesn't matter. Who? Who? Almost had an orange go to the atmosphere. Dude, that's so scary. <laughs> I almost just had a strawberry go to the fucking stratosphere. I feel like the strawberry is scarier. That's a lightweight. The strawberry. I think for me, hot take, it's the grapes. I feel like they always wedge perfectly. Yeah, we're pretty neck and neck. How's your board looking? safe uh you know there's some fruits under that i wish i could get out but mm -hmm. oh i think i kind of butched it actually oh i botched it oh uh, wait oh 
Please give it to me, physics. Huzzah! Watermelon! Oh, oh wait, are we actually that neck and neck? Yeah! Oh, this is the one game we both had to turn up for, huh? Dude, do you see how many little fruits I have below? I guess you have some little fruits. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna greed. I'm gonna say they're gonna give it to me. They're gonna give me exactly what I want. Trust the game. Trust the game. Oh, no. Actually, I, I don't love this. <gasps> oh, my God. No! Don't go on! Don't go on! Oh, come on, man. I'm, no, I'm waiting this one out. What? He's gotta get pushed down. Oh, fuck. Oh, that just fucked oh. me. Okay. We're just playing for points here. Oh, that's mean. Oh, uh, okay. They cut me off early. Uh, 25.91 is what you gotta beat. Let me cook here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got a what? 25, uh, 13. Wait, I won! No, I'm just kidding. It's 25.91. Fuck you! <laughs> that was so evil. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is an easy game to play, I know, but when you're faced with the pressure of a tournament environment, somehow every single decision becomes infinitely more stressful, so that watermelon was damn earned. But now that only eight people remain in the bracket, things are gonna start getting a bit more cutthroat. So my first round in top eight was luckily a breeze, but I can't say the same for everyone else. Come on. Oh my god. No, Sarah. I got flung. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Oh. Next up for me was Della, you know, someone who just hit their personal best of 2700 the round before, so all I could really do was, uh, my best. Since the winner of this got to challenge either Fur or Sarah in Grand Finals for the chance at $5,000. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to mention, there's a cash prize here. So let's just see what happens. Um, have you started yet? Or are you waiting? Uh, I just started. I just just now dropped my first cherry. I cannot believe you hit your peak in the last game. I know, it literally came out of nowhere. I was like, oh, well, it's over. I'm just gonna like kind of give up. And then it just, there was a watermelon in front of me. Huh? You're such a little jokester. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you. What yeah, jokes? You. What jokes am I doing? I heard a huh? No. What? I'm not pulling any jokes right now. Uh, no jokes. No you, jokes over here. Uh, is this like a thing to like get in my head so I so I fail so we can game faster? No. All right, buddy. The world's not out to get you. I promise. <laughs> it's especially just not me. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Girl, you are paranoid. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this just feels bad as a woman. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I am being oh gaslit to infinity and beyond over here. I, I, I'm pretty sure you're gaslighting me is no! the thing. No! <laughs> doing nothing no do you have do you have like did someone pop in the chat do you have the soundboard on for discord i do have it on yeah i turned that shit off that's why i didn't hear it maybe someone popped oh, in maybe okay. we should go around making bold accusations you're right my bad i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> i will say all of that talk got me mad distracted maybe that was my plan all along maybe it's been a game of mental warfare <laughs> Oh, and I am I am not looking good now after being mentally toyed with as much as I was. Okay. Oh, actually, your board looks very pretty. That's that's a problem. Oh, really? You mean it? I don't know what yours looks like. Uh, it, it looks okay. I, I, we can go with okay. Huh? Oh, I see how this is good. Okay. I got a watermelon. Did you really? Yes. And I guess... We just keep on going, you know? Mm-hmm. We just keep on going. Oh, you're crazy for that. <gasps> oh, my God. Yes! Oh, my gosh. Now I'm actually goaded. Oh, you might actually be goaded. I gotta focus, focus on myself. Oh, no. I died. Oh, well. That was It was close. Yeah? I don't think I've done awful today, but I definitely could be doing better. So now that Fur advanced over Sarah to finals, it was time for me to create the fattest watermelon the world has ever seen. All right, I think uh, I think I'm ready. So here we are in grand finals. Right here, we get the get the orange. Oh, those touch, those touch. I don't know if this works. Oh, oh, that was a catch right there. How funny would it be if I just had a cherry launch just immediately, <laughs> and then that was finals, huh? Um, let's see if I can get away with this. Yes, I can. Uh, things are working out. Don't, yeah, don't start feeling too hot, you know? That's the one thing you gotta watch out for. Uh, pop that so it moves. Oh, they almost touched. Oh, do you see how close they got to touching? 
I'm shocked they didn't. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I want to make sure. Yeah, if that's covered off, I think I'm okay with that. It might knock everything over, so I want to put this as like a almost like a goalie. Yeah, see, this is kind of what I'm scared of because now this one strawberry makes it difficult for the two peaches to touch. I just got to get these to touch. That's all I really got to do now. I need to pop this. Yes, I see the out. Oh, whoo. Oh, I needed those to touch. Eesh, eesh. Oh, I needed those to touch. Oh. I wish I had something better to wedge this over. Because this was definitely in a position where it could have. It could have moved. Oh, wait, we got movement. I'm going all in. So, okay, no, no, what can happen? Wait, wait, it's making room for the cherry. It is actually moving. I need that cherry to drop and then push the pineapple up. I'm waiting on the screen. So given that I've spent a total of 15 minutes waiting for these goddamn pineapples to touch, the tournament organizers claimed it would be unfair to keep for waiting. So we're going to go ahead and say that he tentatively won the tournament. But you know, who really knows who won the tournament? And uh, some historians say that those pineapples are still spinning even to this day. Because they are.